Hello, my name is James Olson from Reality Sales Training and welcome to the Sales Reality Check. Today we're gonna to talk about becoming the number one supplier. Is that important for us? Yes, why? Because 80% of the business is going to the top 20% of the suppliers. And that's why a lot of salespeople are miserable because they're part of that bottom 80%. So, we're gonna hold ourselves to the standard of becoming the main supplier. If we do that with everybody, then we'll become main suppliers with some of our accounts and secondary suppliers with some. And the ones that we don't become secondary or primary suppliers with, we're gonna get rid of and go find more like those because those are the ones we make money on. All right, so how do we become a customer's number one supplier? Number one is trust. So we can talk about sales skills, okay? Trust by itself isn't gonna get it done. We still have to sell customers, but number one is trust. This is gonna seem simple, but a lot of sellers don't do it. How do we earn trust? We do what we say we're gonna do. So that's a question of values, question of morality. A lot of sales guys don't think about it, but that's number one. That's how we're gonna become the number one supplier. Number two, persistent and consistent. We need to call accounts and offer them product on a regular basis. Most sellers call accounts or customers on a willy-nilly basis. They, become, they get willy-nilly results and they wonder why. If you want to become someone's main supplier, you have to be like the milkman. You have to show up on a regular basis. That shows them that you're a serious person and that you're serious about the relationship with them. So if it's phone sales, call them at 10.30 every Wednesday or call them at 10.30 every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Whatever the, the, the sequence is, do that. If you're an outside salesperson, if they're an A account, you visit them every week. If they're a B account, you visit them every other week. If they're a C account, every third week. But you do it at the same time persistent and consistent. That's how we're gonna become the number one supplier. I want us to be assumptively positive. What I tell salespeople is we're gonna work the accounts we're selling just like the accounts we're not selling. We're gonna act as if they're going to buy from us. Another thing, another mistake that salespeople make is they don't act like they're going to do business with the customer. They act as if well, I'm just gonna to have to bid for a while and then you're gonna start buying from me. So I want you to act, I want us to act as if they're going to buy from us. So let's make asking for the business part of this ongoing relationship on the way to becoming their number one supplier. Also, we have to do full disclosure. What is full disclosure? What do you have on the ground? What do you have on order? Of what you have on order, how much is sold? What is your buyback point? How, uh, what's your average cost? And when are you buying again? So these are the questions of full disclosure. We need to ask these questions of our customer to become their number one supplier. We act like a business partner with them. We talk to them about their inventory turn, not just about what they're buying next. And ultimately, we want to become leaders. So we want to promote, not quote, our customers. That's the last step in becoming their number one supplier. My name is James Olson with Reality Sales Training. I appreciate you coming by today for the sales reality check. And until next time, let's go get an order.